Hi, I'm Nadine Whitehead, and welcome to my life of baking. Today we're going to make chewy brownie cookies. It's a real easy recipe, and it turns out great. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to take two-thirds cup of shortening, and we're going to add that to our mixer. Okay, we'll get all that shortening out of that bowl. And then we're going to add a cup and a half of brown sugar. So we'll get that in here. And we're going to cream that. And we have the wire attachment on the mixer. And we're going to start that up. And we want that to get to a nice creamy filling. I'm going to scrape that down just to make sure everything gets mixed in there. Give it one more whirl. Okay. I'm going to take this off. And we're going to add some more ingredients to this. Uh, we're going to add a tablespoon of water and we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla and we're going to add two eggs so I'm going to break those into the bowl first just to make sure I don't get any shells in there all right set this aside. So now that we've got all the wet ingredients in there, we're going to mix that up one more time so all those get combined. Oh, that looks good. I want to change now to a paddle mixer. So we'll take out the wire beater. Okay, now I've got fix the paddle mixer for my mixing bowl and we are going to add the dry ingredients into that and what makes it so easy we don't even have to combine those dry ingredients we can just add them into our wet ingredients here that are in the mixer so we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt we have a third cup of cocoa, and that's just your dry cocoa powder. And we have one and a half cups of flour. So we're gonna add that flour, and I'm just gonna put part of it in to start with. And we're gonna get that all mixed together. Have to be careful. This wants to puff all over. All right, get that mixing. And we've got that first part mixed in pretty well. So while the mixer's running, I'm gonna add in the rest of the flour a little at a time. And just a little more to go. Now I'm going to stop this and scrape down that side of that bowl and then we'll finish mixing it. Want to get all that flour down in the cookie? And we'll finish that. All right. So this is what it looks like. It's a nice creamy batter. And we're gonna get that all off the beater here. And I think we've about got it all off of there. And the next thing we do 
that'll help make these chewy and chocolate is we're going to mix in two cups of chocolate chips. And we just wanna fold those into the batter. And you just rub your spatula around the side and just fold it over and push it in. And we've got that all mixed up. It looks really good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna put this onto our cookie sheets. And you can drop it by a teaspoonful, uh, using two teaspoons, one to scrape off the other, or you can use a cookie scoop like this. And you put that on an ungreased cookie sheet. Okay, looks like my cookie scoop wasn't gonna work, so we're gonna go to the teaspoon method, and I have a teaspoon, and I just use the other one to scrape it off. So, we'll just continue that and we'll get these in the oven. And you wanna bake these at 375 degrees. So that's what I've got the oven set on. Hopefully it'll be all up to temperature here. I'm going to finish getting all the cookies on this tray and then we'll get that in the oven and we'll be back to see how they turn out. Okay, we've got the first pan of cookies out of the oven. They had to bake for seven to nine minutes and you want them to still look like they're just maybe a touch wet on top when you take them out, but not soggy. They set on the cookie sheet for about two minutes after you take them out of the oven and I'm going to start taking them off the cookie sheet and putting them on a cooling rack to finish cooling. If you take them off the cookie sheet too soon when you take them on the out of the oven, they're going to be a little too soft to get removed from the cookie sheet. So, boy, these look good. Can't wait till they cool. We've got our second pan in the oven and one more pan to bake after that. But I think we'll be able to try these in just a minute. Okay, we've got the last pan out of the oven. And while they sit and rest for about two minutes on that cookie sheet, I'm gonna move a few off the cooling rack so we have room to put them. Very hard to resist all these cookies here. There, that should be plenty of room to put the next cookies. I don't think I can wait any longer. Mmm. Those are so good. Look at the chocolate in those how they come apart. Mmm, so good. Well, we'll take the last cookies off and clean up our mess and get on with the day. They're still a little warm to be taking off the pan, I think. But they're coming off okay, so will be good. There we are. Well, thanks for joining me. I'm Nadine Whitehead. This has been my life of baking. I hope you'll come back when I make another recipe. <laughs>